In this example, we want to get comfortable using this subset notation. So remember this C means that the set on the left is a subset of the set on the right, and then the equals below it means that it could be the same set. But a subset means that every element that's in the set on the left also has to appear in the one on the right. So for instance, in part A, spring and fall, both of those elements show up in the set on the right, so the left set is a subset of the right set. In part B, however, notice that blue doesn't show up in the set on the right, which means that the elements in the left set are not chosen completely from those in the right set, which means it's not a subset. So we can write this the same symbol with a slash through it. Part C, notice that every element in the left also appears on the right, meaning that the elements of the left-hand set were chosen from the elements in the right-hand set. In fact, in this case, they are equal, but that's accounted for by the line underneath the symbol, that it could be a subset or it could be the same set. In part D, all we need to know is that the set on the right is all the integers. Negative 2, 5, and negative 1 are indeed integers. So they come from the larger set of integers. They're all contained in that set. So this set is a subset of the integers. However, in part E, this set is not a subset of the integers that are greater than 0 because we have negative 2 and negative 1, which don't come from the set on the right. So it's not a subset. So in general, one set is a subset of another if all of its elements are chosen out of the elements of the other one.